Hi my friends, it's Miss Kate from School 1057 in San Marcos, California, and today we are going to be talking about buoyancy. Does anyone know what buoyancy means? Buoyancy is the ability to float. So if something is buoyant, that means it can float. Now I have two oranges in front of me to help us talk all about buoyancy. I have one orange with the peel still on it and one orange that has been peeled. Now I want us to think about if we think one orange will float and one will sink, or if we think both oranges will float or both will sink. I want us to start with the orange with the peel on it, and you need to make your final guess now. Do you think this orange will float or do you think it will sink? Let's see. My friends, did you see that? When I put the orange in the water, it started to go down and then it bobbed right back up and floated to the top. So the orange with the peel can float, which means it is buoyant because we know that buoyancy is the ability to float. Now, when I take this orange out and put the orange that has been peeled in the water, what do you think will happen? Does the fact that the orange with the peel on it float change your answer for what you think will happen to the orange that has been peeled? Now, I want you to make your final guess. Do you think the orange that has been peeled will float to the top? Do you think it is buoyant? Or do you think it will sink to the bottom? Let's find out. My friends, this orange sunk all the way to the bottom and the orange with the peel still on it floated at the top. Now, I know that the peel of the orange has lots of air pockets and that is what allowed the orange with the peel to float to the top and stay buoyant. Now, when we took that peel off, we took all of those air pockets away. So the orange that has been peeled and has no peel on it lost all of those air pockets and so became more dense, which means squished tightly together. So that is how we know the orange with the peel is buoyant and the orange without the peel is not. Now, my friends, I hope you can do this activity at home and put your own oranges into a jar or a container of water and see which ones will float and which ones will not. Do you think that all oranges with peels will float and all oranges without them won't? Why don't you try it at home? I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.